back again. So this time we're going to be looking at MC Korea. So let's dive right on in. Alrighty. So we have Phil Korea in active only. Um, so basically when this is enabled, Sims 4 will bypass all played Sim Sims households. When it is disabled, it will bypass only the active Sims households. Um, so yeah, obviously default value is disabled. Um, if you want to enable that, enable that. Um, teen employment range. So the minimum and maximum percentage of the Sims of Sims to be employed. Um, zero, zero would be full unemployment. Um, 100 and 100 would be full employment. Um, so at the moment, the default value is 40, 50. Um, so you can play around with that to either have full employment or for full unemployment. Um, again, it depends on what you personally want um, to have in the game. Um, again, so it's the same for adult employment range. Um, the default value is 70, 80. Um, the elder employment range is 40, 50, the same as teenagers. Um, you can also go to children quit school. Um, mine is disabled, so my kids cannot quit school. Um, if you have it enabled, you obviously then your children can quit school. Um, I know that can be handy for some um, challenges. So especially if you're doing the rags to riches with, say, a teenager or, say, like a teenager and they've got their young child brother or something along those lines. Um, if you enable that, basically your, your children can quit school um, and that means that you don't get hassled all the time. So, you know, if your kids don't show up to school, uh, they constantly constantly get hassled by um, the principal and whatnot, um, get their bad grades, etc. So yeah, if you if you want to enable your kids to quit, oh uh, my goodness, if you want your children to be able to quit school, just enable that, um, and you can find it in MC Korea, and the same for teens quit school. Um, it's the same thing. So you can enable both of those and have children and teens quit school. So that was a really short one. Um, so we'll go into MC Cleaner as well. Um, so we'll look at two in this video. Um, so we've got MC Cleaner here. You've got Sim Cleaner, Item Cleaner, Neighborhood Cleaner and Relationship Cleaner. So we'll go into Sim Cleaner first. Um, so Sync Married Name. Um, is enabled. So if your sims are married but their last names do not match, it'll automatically change the last names so they do match peri periodically. Um, don't want that. Um, obviously you can disable it. I will probably disable it because I disagree with having the same name. That's me, that's my personal opinion. Um, everyone is totally entitled to their opinion. So if you want this enabled, it's obviously the, the default setting. So by all means, just leave it. Um, but if you do want to change it, you come into Sync Married Names and that's where it will be under Sim Cleaner. Um, so if we have a look at Item Cleaner, um, so we'll go Sync Glasses. So if one of the outfits a Sim is wearing includes glasses, then copy those glasses to all outfits except bathing, sleeping, and swimming. It is disabled at the moment. Um, to be honest, I actually really like this setting. I think it's so much easier. Um, like especially when you like you want your sim to sort of be the same, especially if they're wearing glasses. Like, you, like maybe sunglasses would be a little bit different, but if they're wearing glasses they kind of need them for all outfits um so yeah that's really cool if you want to enable that um remove items 
So specifies whether or not to apply the remove icon cleanup rules on regular intervals. If you want to enable that, then enable that. Um, if you don't, then leave it. Clean item ages. Um, so the default is teen, young adult, and adult. Um, remove the specified outfit parts from the specified outfit category on regular intervals. So you can obviously then change it to toddler, child, and older as well, or take it all off completely. Clean item genders. Um, so it's obviously female and male. Um, so basically when running the remove item cleanup process, this setting specifies the genders of the sims that will be allowed to be cleaned. Clean item parts. So, all of these. Go into blush. So, choose outfits to remove any items from the specified body. So, you can go right down or you can select all. So, if you want to remove blush, hat, um, headwear, it's all in here. Um, so, that's a really easy way to do it. Um, and then obviously you've got earrings, etc. Eyeliner, everyday, party, bathing, career. And basically you click on one and that's the selected value. Or you unclick on it and it reverts it back. So yeah, that's super, super helpful. Um, and clean item sims. So NPC sims, played sims and active sims. Um, so it specifies which types of sims will have item cleaning during scheduled cleaning nights. Um, so yeah, if you want to do active sims as well, just come in and click on that. Um, so yeah, that is MC Korea and MC Cleaner. Um, and I will go through again in the next videos. Um, all the other MC command center settings. So thanks guys.